The notion of keeping a dog as nothing more than a pet is relatively modern. For thousands of years, men has been selectively breeding dogs for specific purposes, and in that way, the dog has developed into a huge variety of breeds. There are hundreds of dog breeds out there, way too many for us to mention here. For beginner and intermediate dog owners, we always like to recommend a purebred puppy. A purebred puppy is one whose parents both meet the breed standard and will usually come with a pedigree. The greatest advantage to a purebred dog is the predictability of the dog's size, temperament and appearance. There is a wealth of knowledge available to you on every registered breed. There is likely to be many experts on that breed and more than likely a club that you can either join or seek advice from. There are six basic questions we need to ask ourselves before considering any breed of dog. How large will your puppy grow as an adult dog? Do you have enough room and suitable premises to meet the exercise requirements and general living needs of the dog? How active and or demanding will this breed be? Will the breed's personality and temperament fit with you and your family? How much attention, care and grooming will be required of that breed? How much will that breed cost and what are the ongoing costs? If you're still unsure, Animal Planet has an excellent resource that can help you identify breeds that will best suit your lifestyle. It's critical that you get to understand the original use of your intended breed. We must accept that experts have been developing that breed to display certain genetic traits that cover not just appearance, but also temperament. Getting the wrong dog for your lifestyle is like asking a leopard to change its spots. It would be unfair to keep a husky in a hot environment and never let it pull a sled, or a kelpie that will never get to do anything even remotely related to herding. Remember, some dog breeds are designed to be aggressive or territorial and display a number of traits that out of context can be antisocial. For our tutorials, we have chosen to use an English Springer Spaniel. The English Springer Spaniel was developed as a gun dog. Their intended use is to flush and retrieve game. They grow to a medium size and are lovely natured, friendly dogs. Like many breeds, there are two distinct lines, one that is considered for show and another that is for work. Because of their high drive, stability and phenomenal noses, they are used quite commonly by police and military units as detection dogs. The biggest draw card for us was that the English Springer Spaniel has a high drive and intensity for work, but can totally relax and be a fantastic family pet. We've never owned or even trained one before, but we thought that was important to show these techniques will work on all breeds of dogs, not just the ones we are familiar with. 